Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? I'm just taking a look at the cows for a minute and I was buying a few more. Our liquid manure is already back up to a full 800,000 litres in there. Um, I've bought another thousand cows and at the moment the reproduction rate is one cow every 13 minutes. I think we can do better. I did say that I wanted to go to 10,000 cows so I thought I would start out today's episode by getting to 10,000 cows. Um, one other point that I would just like to say if you have not yet had a chance to see the Broadacres first look video that I did yesterday, go and take a look. That map is stunning. It's flat, like you would expect in Australia, and it's big, like you'd expect in Australia. It's 16 times. That's four times the size of this map. And this map is ridiculously big, right? It is absolutely insane, and there's so much extra stuff been put into that map, it's just unreal. Now, it's not like this with like all the gorges and stuff. You've got a great big kind of grid, and there's fences around each of the fields. The biggest field there costs about $50 million. Um, so at the moment, I mean, we started out this map with $100 million, and then we gave ourselves an extra $100 million. I think to be... To really be able to do the Australian map justice, we're going to have to start with a billion dollars. If we start with a billion, we could go and buy all the land, and that would, you know, I reckon it's, I don't know how much it's actually going to cost, but it's probably going to cost in the region four to five hundred million dollars to be able to buy all of the land available on the map in Australia. Nearly half a billion, right? That, that's just staggering. Absolutely. The, the numbers that he starts chucking around in that map is just unreal it's absolutely insane it really is there's just there's there's no there's no real way to describe it i spent i literally spend most of that episode just kind of struggling to find words to describe what i'm looking at it's the, the scale of it is beyond imagining there is all kinds of extra fruits in the map there's um you, you've got carrots you've got onions and then you've got there's some fruit um, there's vineyards on there, and there's uh, just extra cereals, oats, triticale, uh, rye, um, there's cotton in there as well, and I, I can't remember what else there is, but it, there's a whole load of extra ones, and I think they are fairly standard for extra fruits, because they are on quite a few other maps as well, so let's buy another, uh, you can actually buy 999 um, animals at well. Oh no, it is 1,000. It does go to the full 1,000. So that's taken us uh, this another 5.2 million for new livestock. So let's just go through here and still on 13 minutes per animal for reproduction rate. So we won't bother buying any more for a moment. There's something else that I wanted to do first. We are soon going to be starting our harvest, but before we do that let me go into one of these. Now I've made some more alterations to this one, which I'm hoping is going to show through um, with being able to uh, gather up some grass because the cows don't have a great deal of grass we've got a little bit lying on the floor in there but there's still not enough grass as far as i'm concerned we do want to get a bit more um so if we just come out here and turn that one on and take that one out wide is it going to work uh it's going faster and i think the quantity of grass is actually increasing much faster as I intended. I don't think it's increasing quite as much as I did um, I, I did want it to because I actually said that it should increase 10,000 times not a thousand times and I don't think it is increasing 10,000 times. I think it's actually I think that it is limited on the amount of grass that it can pick up at one time so there is that holding it back. Because of the speed we're going it's not quite gathering everything up what I am going to be doing very sh very shortly, very soon, is we're going to fast forward time and we're going to get that crop, all of that wheat ready to harvest. Is it wheat? No, it's barley actually, it's barley. Um, all of the barley ready to harvest. And to start with, when we start doing our harvest, we're not going to be using these combines that we've got here because um, I've got a different combine to start with. I haven't made it any wider. I've just given it, it's just its standard width. I have sped it up a little bit, because I felt that otherwise it was just going to take too long. Um, but yeah, I, I, and I haven't been able to uh, spend the time to work on stretching out a mod yet, but apparently that's like a really, really difficult thing to be able to do anyway. So it's not something that I'm going to be rushing into. I need to kind of see how it's done and figure it out a bit. So. We'll get to all that. But anyway, I asked you a question last week. Once we've done our harvest, 
what baler would you like me to use to go and bail everything up on this map? And I've gave you all of the selection. I did say that I'm not specifying what size, what quantity the actual bale itself will be. I've had all kinds of suggestions, but I'm standing by that. I'm not saying yet what size it's going to be. I'll sort of see closer to the time and maybe run a few tests before I actually do the episode just to make sure that we've got the right one here. But anyway, I asked you if you wanted me to use the Heston Baylor, which is the big um, the big one from the arm team. The small baler, which is again, they, the arm team, they came out with that one. Um, or the standard square baler or the standard round baler. Now, 2,905 people answer that question. And of the 2,905, 133 people want round bales. 178 people want standard square bales. 225 want uh, small bales. And 2,369 people want me to use the Heston baler. I was actually quite surprised at that. So we will be using the Heston Baylor. This is almost unanimous. Almost, but not quite, but it's, it's close enough. I was I genuinely surprised that quite so many people wanted that one. I really was. Um, but not unpleasantly so. So we will take a look at that. Maybe we'll have a couple of them lined up so that one of them does standard size bales and one of them does really small bales, one of them does really big bales. I, d I don't quite know yet how I'm going to do it, but it's definitely going to be done. So let's just come up through here. Oh no, I've got to, I've got to put the side out to be able to pick up the grass, and it does work like a forage wagon. So you can just go whizzing along here and gather it all up, really, really quickly. And then we'll stop here and we will empty out. So let's just tip out that grass. We've got another two hundred thousand liters of grass to go in. We're at sixteen percent at the moment, and that's taken us up to twenty-three percent. So it's not a great deal, really. All of that grass, seven hundred and twenty-two. Those two there, they're about halfway. The power food has got over 2 million litres in there. And the cytogen in here is 3.5 million litres. It's just under halfway. We've got 7,200 cows at the moment. That's give, that gives you an idea of just how long it's going. I'll tell you what. We didn't actually speed up the time at all. So that, might, that number might actually change. Sometimes that doesn't change until it kind of updates everything around it. Let me speed it up a bit more. We'll go up to 120 just for a moment. Yep, we're down to nine minutes. Every nine minutes, we get a new cow. That's not, that's not bad going, actually. Right, let's move through, and we've got... Well, we've got the other rolling is in the pool, and I'm, for the now, for, for, for the moment, I'm going to leave this one in the pool. We're not going to do anything with that one. It's just going to stay there, and we don't actually have a use for the Massey at the moment, so we'll leave that one there as well. I've made a couple of tweaks to the Lizard Road Rage, which I was using in yesterday's Broadacres video, just to take a look around. Um... Notably, I increased the maximum speed, although I don't know if I was actually using the maximum speed. I may have been in yesterday's video. I think I was, actually. Yes, I, w I definitely was. I definitely was. Um, I've increased the maximum speed to 200 miles an hour, although it does seem to take a while to get up to that speed. I don't even know if it can get up to that speed. It might. I might need to do some more adjusting in order to be able to get it to travel at the full 200 miles an hour, because it's not going above 80 at the moment. I did increase the power of the engine slightly. I think I'm going to have to do more. That's a bit of a shame, actually. I was hoping for a better performance from this car. Okay, uh, something that's on my to-do list is I will increase the um, torque of the engine a little bit more so that it does actually build up to the speed that I want it to go to. Just bring it round, and if I head over this way, that should be sort of heading towards the gorge. Now, all of these gentle rolling hills that we have here in Texas... There is none of that in Australia. Australia is flat. It's absolutely flat. It's nothing. It's just flat. Level. And if you go and look at maps, at, 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 at videos of real life farming in Australia, that's what it's like. It's just flat. It's just like hundreds of miles. It was dead flat land. It's unbelievable. And you, you wouldn't think that it was possible to have hundreds of miles of dead flat land, but it really is. It really is such a... Oh, that was so beautifully cleared. That was absolutely... It's like poetry in motion, that was. Absolutely beautiful. I do still intend to get the scooter and have a bit of a mess around with that one in here. Um, just not quite... Oh, really? You had to do it then, didn't you? The map had to do it then, didn't it? Right, uh, can I get out of here? I wonder if I can. Oh, I can. Sort of. No, I can't. I don't, I don't think I can. I think it's just going to... It's, it's not going to allow me to climb up the wall. 
I think we're stuck. Okay, that's fine. We can do this. We just use our magic button and where are we gonna go? Let's just go over here and then we can try again. We can try and get across this gorge again. And let's go. Right, where do we want to? If I head up this way, I may be able to just get across here a little bit easier. And I think we need to start fast forwarding time a little bit faster. That's a little bit better. It was kind of underwhelming, really. We we definitely need to ramp this bad boy up a bit. We need to be able to get some better speed. People have been asking me to get some decent speed on some vehicles. And so far, I've failed to deliver. I really have. I've given you like 150 miles an hour. But that's as far as I've gotten. I really do need to do better. There is definitely room for improvement there. So I will work on that. Ooh, that's dark. I do love the fact that it gets properly dark. I mean, you, you literally, you can't see it. That's one thing that I didn't test over on Broadacres was nighttime. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even get to that. I just, I was so, uh, you literally, you get to it. You're so overwhelmed with everything in the map and everything is there and everything to look at, everything to see, that you, you can't, you, it's not physically possible to get around everything. I'm, it's going to require this unrealistic series to properly look at that map. And it's going to take a bit of doing as well. It's, it's not going to be an easy task to get through it. But I got all kinds of plans. I got all kinds of ideas about things that we can do. And there is our wheat, our barley rather, our barley. Our barley rolling through and getting and ripening. So we have the moon come up in the middle of the night and then the moon disappears. And dawn arrives. Hello dawn, how are you? Well, Dawn says she's doing well, um, but the kids are being an absolute pain. So, I'm sorry to hear that, Dawn, but uh, hope, hopefully it'll be all right in the end. It'll work out for you, I'm sure it will. Good old Dawn. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, I, I won't do that anymore. Um, right, I'll tell you what, we can slow down time now. I reckon at about quarter to eight in the morning is a good time to start this next little task. So, i got no reason really to be hanging around. We are... Uh, well, we don't want to be using that one for now. Um, this one. I want some suggestions today. I'm not actually going to do a weekly question this week. I've been thinking of what I could do for a weekly question. I'm not going to. Take a look at the Broadacres video and get an idea of what we're in store for. And then I want suggestions of the odd job that we can get going right at the beginning. I'm going to start. I'm pretty sure I'm going to start with a billion dollars on that map. And the, one of the first things we do is we go around buy all the fields. Um, but if we start off with a billion dollars, I mean, may, maybe I won't go quite so insane. Maybe we'll just go like 500 million dollars or even 250 million. And that way we buy some of the fields, but not all of them. I, I, I don't know yet. I don't quite know. But you remember the job that we had with this one? And then we ended up sort of converting it all into one giant field. Well, we won't be able to convert broad acres into a giant field because all the fields are surrounded by fences. So it's, it's and they got collisions as well. So that's not going to be a possibility. But we do have all of these massive, great big fields. What would you like to see me do? Would you like me to use this one tractor here? Would you like to use that same Zeta? Would you like me to export it from here and take it to Australia? Would you like me to use some of these standard tractors that rarely get any love? I mean, like the Hurleyman there hardly ever gets looked at by anybody. We've got Steyr. Now, actually, I've been told it's not Steyr. It's Steyr. You're supposed to pronounce it Steyr so, or Steyr. So the Steyr, a Steyr, something, something like that. I'm, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong anyway. Um, or we've got the Lintrack there, the Lintrack 90. Um, some of these small ones here, the brand new Hurleyman there. Um... Do you want me to try and sort of use some of those, maybe the old case? Or do you want me to go over to some of these that we got here? Maybe we could get that one there going um, at 135 horsepower. I will actually change that one back down to... Actually, I think that that is changed back down to what it's supposed to be. Um, and get one of these little tiny small tractors working on some of the jobs. Maybe we could put that Massey Ferguson with the tracks chugging up and down a field in Australia. Get the biggest field there and just see if it's actually physically possible for it to do something in there. I, I, I don't know. What do you want to see? Give me some ideas of things you want to see. Go and take a look at the Broadacres video at the at the map and see what we're in store for. And then give me some ideas of the, like the, the, the small little tractors or the small machinery stuff you'd like to be seen used in there to sort of start off with. And it'll be like the ongoing long-term thing like we did with this one. This one we put cultivating that field and it took um most of the series up until this point to actually do it so that's what we'll do again we're going to try and do something like that 
and let me just go down to the shop down here so yeah I really want to hear all of your ideas on that what do you, what do you want to see me do what do you want us to try and how would you like us to go about it what what exactly do you want to see me trying to do one of the first few jobs that we get started with down there on that map so the first thing that we're going to do now is ready to start our harvest is we are going to go up through here we're going to ignore those other ones and it's the dominator 88 it's the one that we want as you can see we have a tank capacity of 4.6 million it says 26 miles an hour i'm hoping that that is actually now wrong i really do hope that's wrong because otherwise um all of those changes that i instigated have not worked and that's not really what i want so let me come up through here and i want a header for it now it's not the varios and I don't think it was the C... Oh, actually, it might have been the C600. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was the C420, the 4.2 meter one. That's a 6 meter. This is the smaller one. I bought the smaller one. So I'll buy that one as well. Okay. And we're just going to get the one for the minute. And we'll... We can come back to working on this later on. So we've got this one combine here. And... Right, 49 miles an hour is top speed for this combine. So it's still not going to be particularly fast, but um, I think that's actually going to be all right. I don't think it's going to interfere with it too much. I didn't want to go, like, really crazy on this one just yet. I wanted to kind of build up to this gently. There's a big, there's a, there's something there. It's like an invisible lump right there. So I, I did want to build up to it a little bit gently, um, but we can go in here and we can make a start. So we want to ease up a bit. There we go. Stop. And is this going to work? I have absolutely no idea if this is going to work at all. Let me... Uh, I need to unfold the combine. Actually, I need to unfold the actual combine. There we go. It's unfolded. And... You know, actually, I can just uh, go to there. Start it up. I want to make sure that the, uh, we've got pipe out, disable straw swath. Okay, so the straw swath is on. Lift that header up as far as it'll go. I'm going to move in a little bit and AI vehicle extension. Okay, it's detecting the field. Is it actually going to detect it? It has detected the field. How well this combine is going to work, I don't know. I was kind of picturing we could get 10 of these combines all running together. Whether this is going to work or not, I've got no idea at all. But it's going, it's, it is going along at a nice steady pace. That's the first thing that I wanted it to be able to do. And that's working. Okay, I quite like this. Now, that's that's combining with style. Uh, oh, hang on. No, let me just stop you there a minute, pal. And I go Control H and then go to Settings. Right. Now, the turn angle. If you increase the turn angle to 100%, it allows it to turn more before it backs out and, ch and turns around again. And then we go OK. Right. So now if I start it up, if I turn it around this corner myself and then put it going again, it should do the job OK. It's now, it's whether or not it's going to do the inside corners very well. That's, that's kind of the, the big thing now is... Um, some of the inside corners on the fields that we planted it's going to cut right across like that and most of them is going to be all right it's just some of them it doesn't like that ground there does it doesn't like the mud patches um, some of the fields where we've got inside corners is actually fences and stuff in the way which could cause a bit of an issue so i'm thinking that we will i turned dirt off right i've specifically turned dirt off and still the machinery is getting dirty um let me just stop and have a drink a minute while this one st carries on whizzing round. Right, that's a bit better. So yeah, I did turn dirt off, but some of the mods themselves have actually got dirt on them, so it's not really a great deal that you can do about it. As I'm, I'm sort of thinking that we would have a few of these, and they could work around some of these bigger fields themselves. Uh, maybe I could put like one going around the outside of each of the small fields all the way across the bottom of the map. But, so I've got one here going on this field here, and I, uh, that'd be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that would cover all of these small fields, and then ten would be this last one here, and going around that field there. 
And I like the idea of using this the, a small class dominator to start with, just going around them all, and we'll, we'll see how it gets on with them. And then once we've done a little bit with these, then we could break out some bigger combines, or I could just alter... Actually, head, let, it, let me know in the comments section today if you'd like to see me extending the width of these, or if you'd like to see it um, with bigger combines. I may may not record the other two episodes for this week before I before this one goes live. I'm not quite sure yet though, so I can't make any promises that I'm going to see it before I record the rest of the episodes for this week. My upload schedule lately has gotten rather hectic. You may have noticed, because of all the Gold Rush videos, uh, it, it, it started to get a little bit busy. Uh, but it's still going alright. We're still, do it. we're still going, doing alright and we're still managing to meet all of our targets, so life is good so far. And it's very, very rough here, isn't it? this land and we don't have the mods the, the ground response mod I don't have that one active but it's still bouncing around like crazy this is good I am liking this I'm starting to think that we should get another one out here though into this field and then although one going around each and every field I'm, I'm starting to like that idea as well and at the moment this isn't doing anything particularly interesting so let's go and buy another combine so we get another one of those. And actually, I'm going to get uh, maybe... Let's get four of them all together. So let's get three more, just for now. And we can back out of there. And then we go to this one here. And we get four of these as well. One, and two, three, and four. There we go. So I may get a slightly bigger combine and modify that one so that the speed is increased a bit to do the first time round the outside of the big field, the, the really big field. I'm, I'm sort of building up to that one. I haven't got the courage just yet to actually try it. And I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'm sure there's not going to be any issues with doing that field. But at the same time, I'm still nervous. I am still nervous. And I feel rightly so because there's... Um, that is a big field, and there's a lot that could go wrong with it just yet. We could just completely crash the game out entirely and not be able to do anything else with it. So we will just keep what keep an eye on it and make sure that nothing goes too horribly wrong. I don't think anything particularly interesting is going to happen on this one for a minute. We've got the AI vehicle extension running nicely, so we'll let that one carry on with it. And we'll get another combine going. So we are go I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put this one into the field that's running. I'm going to stick this one into the next field. So we've got three headers here. So let's just go and grab the first one. Come on round and hit you on. There we go. And then I make the map bigger. I press F11. We are so going to be using this teleport mod an awful lot in broad acres. We really are. There is no way that we're going to be driving all our machinery wherever it's got to go. Um, if you're going to play that map normally... Um, First off, you know, full respect to you, it's going to take a bit of effort. It really is. Um, second of all, are you insane? Um, and then third, um, one, when you're playing it properly, in order to be able to move machinery around it, you're going to need uh, some fast lorries, and you're going to be wanting some... You're just going to be wanting all kinds of things. It's it's just utter madness. I'm... You're gonna need you're gonna need assistance moving your machinery around. This you wouldn't buy a combine out of the dealership and drive it to the other end of the map. You would be there for a week, maybe even a month. It's, it's just, it, that's the kind of scale that that map is on. And there are um, there are contract jobs available on the small fields, but I didn't see any on the big fields. Now I don't know if that's just because they weren't there when I was looking, or if it's because the field itself um, hadn't like maybe it hadn't properly loaded up or maybe there's there isn't actually any in there i'm not actually sure about that i will try to find out and i can sort of give you some updated information about it and let you know a little bit more about it i really wish these combines wouldn't bounce around quite as much as they do but that's the second one that's going so let's go actually i'll tell you let's go back to this one he still hasn't quite gotten once around the field yet but he, he's almost gotten once around the field so we're going to stick with this one for a minute the other one can go on round that little... That's the smallest field of the lot the other one's doing down there. It is quite noisy. My question for this week isn't actually a question. What I want you to do is I want you to give me suggestions of 
little jobs that we can do on broad acres go and take a look at the video if you haven't get an idea of the scale of enterprise that we are letting ourselves in for once we get started on that map it's just going to be out of this world this is uh, uh, i wouldn't be able to do a normal let's play series on it i wouldn't be able to do a time lapse series on it either it's simply too big for that it just wouldn't work I would have to dedicate all my time to just doing those episodes. I wouldn't be able to do anything else at all. Um, so it, I literally, I, I would not be able to do that. So that's out of the question. Um, but what that means is, it's definitely going to be an unrealistic series. It's got to be completely unrealistic. So what do you want to see me do in this unrealistic series in Australia on broad acres, 16 times map? What? tasks would you like to see me perform to start we'll start performing to start with um like the little zeta on the cultivator that we did in this series um i want some ideas of different things that you want to see done and i'll go through and i'll pick out what i think is a pretty good one or a pretty good two or three and we'll sort of get going with those and take it from there uh, maybe later on we can get some extra ones going i don't know yet um, remember we are going to be limited to only 10 hired helps and I don't really intend to use very much course play I'll probably be doing it with standard AI and the AI vehicle extension which is my preferred method of play I don't particularly like course play although course play is going to be a must for those of you who want to play broad acres realistically um, and I will say I did say on that intro video but I will say again it also is in the absolutely massive game at uh, the map manual where it explains everything on there it's quite high on the list don't use don't save course play courses on that map it's very difficult it, it takes up a lot of memory or don't say i can't remember which ones you're not supposed to save but there are some that you shouldn't be saving because of the amount of memory that it takes up and it's really difficult to sort of stay on top of it um but yeah that's 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 all to come we, we'll get to that <laughs> we we, we really will so I'd, I really like to hear, hear all of your suggestions and read about what kind of ideas you can come up with for that map and what you think that we might be able to accomplish with it what we might be able to try that sort of thing be really cool why have you stopped what's going on helper E is blocked by an object and helper F is blocked by what object literally they've both come down here and they've both stopped Okay. I haven't altered anything on these combines. I've made no changes whatsoever, and yet something on them made a collision between the two. And now that's nothing to do with me. I haven't changed the actual model of the combine, and I haven't changed any working widths or anything like that either. So something there, they just literally, they just collided with each other with an invisible collision force on it. I've never seen that before. That's actually quite fascinating, that really is. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's all i got time for today. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.